Hi everybody, so today I'm just going to be doing an overview on the app of Green Bank Sports Academy. So we'll look at the main page, uh, which you can see right now, and we can look at the side panel, which has these features plus some additional. So we'll talk through each tab. So the first one at the top left is the membership card. So if you click onto here, um, you can add in a membership card. So to do that, we just click onto the add. What you can then do is enter your membership ID number, which if you don't have to hand, you can obtain that from the facility. You then have the option to enter your name. Then you would click on to add membership card. Once done, it will create you a barcode strip just like the one you can see now, and it will generate your ID number at the top of the code of the strip. Sorry. So this means that when you come onto site, you can get this um, up on your app and you'll be able to scan. Uh, at the facility to check in. You can also delete the card if it's no longer needed and you can also share your check-in to your social media devices. So if we go back whilst we're talking about social media, at the top right you have check-in. So you can check in onto your social media um, accounts such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to check in and share your location. You can also uh, invite friends with text and email. If we click on to the logo, this will take us to Green Bank's official website where you will be able to do um, all the things that you need to do or look around their website um, just as you would if you went onto a normal URL. If we click on to back, we then have the announcements tab. So at the moment it's saying none at this time. This means that no, no announcements have been listed. If they have been added on, they would be listed at the top um, in this section. But if you wanted to see them in more detail, you can click onto the announcements tab and it would show them one per page. So if there was up to three, you can scroll across and it will show you the individual announcements on each page. So if we click on back, we then have the schedule. So if this, if you wanted to book um, a session, like a class session, you are able to do this here. If you're renting out anything and it's a rental booking, you can't do this through the app and you would need to do it through the self-service. So to book a class session, we'd simply just go to the time and the class that you want to book into. We will click on to book it. it, gives you that information. If you're not already logged in, it will ask you to log in first so it can register your information and it will allow you to book onto the session. If we click on back, you then have the next three tabs, which is a Twitter icon, Facebook and YouTube. This is uh, the facility's um, social media accounts. So if we clicked on the Twitter icon, it would take us to Green Bank's Twitter page. If we click on back, if we click on then to the Facebook icon, it would take us to Green Bank's uh, Facebook page. If we click on back again, we then go on to YouTube it will take us to their YouTube channel. So it all just works, it's all official for what they have and that all just works through those icons. Then what we have is the self-service tab. So if you are a member um, and you need to register for a rental, you can do that through here. If you're not even a member and you're just on the app, you can click onto the self-service. If you're not a member, just click on register and that will register you a client profile within Green Bank. You'd then be able to, um, book into rentals and if you wanted to do sessions you just need to uh, contact the facility for now um, to obtain a membership or a package first. So if you are a member like I said or you have a client profile you'll be able to log into here and book your rentals. So if we go on back we'll just look at the last two um, icons at the bottom. So on the bottom left we've got contact and hours this uh, provides us with Green Bank's um, facility open hours and anything that's going on within there. You also have the map for the location of Green Bank and the contact and email details at the bottom of the page. If we click on back again, we then have the feedback option. So this uh, allows you to send across to the facility any feedback that you may have. When it's, where it says select type of feedback, if you click onto here, it will give you a list of options to select if, to talk about your feedback that you have. You then enter the details in the, bo the bottom box there, and then you just click on to send at the top right, and that will take you back to your, that will take you into your own 
email account and you just press send again to be able to send across the feedback. So if we just click on back, that's everything on this uh, front panel page. If we go to the top left, you see the three lines. If we click onto this, it opens up a side panel. So everything that we've just seen on the front page is also on this side section. There's just a couple of extra things. So we won't go through the ones we've just looked at. We'll just look at the ones that are extra. So home, it will obviously take you to the home page. Schedules, we've already looked at. So then we have favorites. So if you click onto favorites, it will allow you to set up a favorite. So if you have a favorite class, you can add that in as one of your favorites and that will show on your schedule. So if we cancel out of that, and we go back into the side panel. Announcements and membership card and YouTube channel we've already reviewed. So then we have services. This is anything else that's inside the facility that you may want to get involved with. Um, that way you don't have to contact the facility uh, directly. You can contact whatever's going on. So as we've gone into services, we can see we've got Green Bank Power Football Club. So you can email and call them directly by clicking on either option. We'll just open that side panel again. We've got the contact and hours and feedback. The next uh, one is notifications. So if the facility is um, sending out any notifications, it will be listed here. So it will show in a bracket how many, so if there's just one, it will say the number one. So when you click onto it, it would show that notification. Once you tap onto that notification, that one would go back down to zero. If you have your notifications enabled on, on your phone, then it will come through onto your front page just as if you were receiving a text. If not, they'll just show when you come into the app. So lastly, we'll just click on settings and that will just um, let you enable which default screen you want it to come into when you open the app. So it could either be the home page, a schedule, the member card or the favourites. So it's up to you which one you have. You can select each, any one of those. And at the bottom you have account and that's where you would log into Green Bank Sports Academy and that is the same login that you would use for your self-service. So that's everything on the app and I hope everyone has a great day.